The Shah Bano case was a landmark legal case in India that took place in the 1980s and sparked a national debate about the rights of Muslim women in India. Shah Bano, a Muslim woman, had been divorced by her husband and sought maintenance from him under Section 125 of the Criminal Procedure Code. The Supreme Court of India ruled in her favor, ordering her husband to provide her with monthly maintenance. The ruling in the Shah Bano case brought attention to the tension between India's secular laws and religious personal laws and sparked a nationwide debate about the need for a uniform civil code. The case was met with opposition from conservative Muslim groups who argued that the decision violated Islamic personal law and Sharia law. In response, the Indian government passed the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Divorce Act in 1986, which limited the maintenance rights of Muslim women in divorce cases. Some of the key points related to the Shah Bano case are 1. The Shah Bano case was a legal case in India, in which a Muslim woman sought maintenance from her divorced husband. 2. The case was heard by the Supreme Court of India, and was decided in favor of the woman in 1985. 3. Shah Bano, the petitioner in the case, was a Muslim woman who had been divorced by her husband. 4. She sought maintenance from her husband, under Section 125 of the Criminal Procedure Code. 5. The Supreme Court ruled in her favor, and ordered her husband to provide her with monthly maintenance. 6. The ruling sparked opposition from conservative Muslim groups who believed that the decision violated Islamic personal law and Sharia law. 7. They argued that maintenance in divorce cases should be governed by Islamic personal law, not secular law. 8. In response to the opposition, the Indian government passed the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Divorce Act in 1986. 9. The Act Limited the maintenance rights of Muslim women in divorce cases. 10. The Shah Bano case brought attention to the tension between India's secular laws and religious personal laws. 11. The case is considered a landmark case in Indian legal history and is often referred to in discussions of gender justice, human rights, and the Uniform Civil Code in India. 12. It sparked a debate about the rights of Muslim women in India and the need for a uniform civil code. 13. The decision in the Shah Bano case was seen as a positive step towards gender equality by some, while others viewed it as a threat to the preservation of religious personal laws. In conclusion, the Shah Bano case remains a significant event in India's legal history and has sparked a larger conversation about the rights of divorced women in India and the impact of religious personal laws on their rights. The case highlights the importance of ensuring that women's rights are protected and balanced with cultural and religious values.